So Mark Cerny, the father of PlayStation 4, if you will, mm-hmm. um, he said some pretty interesting stuff, and it, it made me think a bit. Um, I know quite a bit about computer hardware and how things operate. Yep. He's claiming that the PS4 Pro is capable of 8.4 teraflops using 16-bit uh, floating point right. operations. Now, I think that that is very good possibility. Uh, there are some things that I learned actually today that the PS4 Pro actually has two graphic chips, uh, so they're working in crossfire. Yep. Now, um, I have is, some stuff to give awesome. you here on this very topic. I, I pulled up the story so that I could read a quote from this interview where Mark Cerny unveiled a few things, actually, about the PS4 Pro. Now, to quote him, it says, uh, One of the features appearing for the first time is the handling of 16-bit variables. It's possible to perform two 16-bit operations at a time instead of one 32-bit operation. In other words, at full floats, we have 4.2 teraflops. With half floats, it's now double that, which is to say 4 or 8.4 teraflops in 16-bit computation. This has the potential to radically increase performance. And then after that, he went on to say that, yes, the PS4 Pro does have one additional gig of RAM, which he said in turn allows games to have up to 10% more RAM available to use. Yeah, I was hoping for that. I mean, so you're at 9 gigs. Uh, I'm wondering if they still claim uh, 2 gigs for their system. I don't know. But, okay, regardless... If you're going from, I think it was 1.5 gigs for the system, so you're going from six and a half to seven and a half. That's still that's still good. Yes. You know, anything more is better. And with the features of the PS4 Pro, the extra gig better. makes a difference. Yeah, and then the other thing, <clears throat> the other thing is, uh, you know, <laughs> what is a flop? Well. <laughs> It's a floating point operation, yeah. and the amount of teraflops or flops is how many of those operations you can pull off in a second. Yep. Now, where he gets the 8.4 teraflops from is the fact that, number one, you're doing two 16-bit operations per second, or not per, you know, per, mm-hmm. I guess it would be per operation. So you're essentially able to double that number because you're able to do more yeah even though your uh, bit length is smaller it is worth pointing out that um a lot of other techie people that probably don't know any more than we do about this stuff have pointed out that 16 bit isn't as good as 32 and while that's true i'm pretty sure mark cerny knows more about this than any of us on youtube so yeah i'm gonna go with but... that <laughs> There is one thing to point out here. Scorpio. Mm -hmm. It's bound to be able to do that as well. So you're looking at... It could be the same method even. Exactly. Um, Especially if they're going to continue using AMD's technology. Um, You're looking at 12 teraflops a second then, if you think about it. Now, maybe Microsoft doesn't want to do that maybe they want to stay away from 16 bit uh it's possible that DirectX doesn't support it anymore or, you know and it's also whatever. possible that some games aren't going to work good with 16 bit computations anyway so those games would have to use the 32, 32. yeah uh, now i'm wondering if it can do a combination of both it, yeah uh, time will tell right there's not it's coming out soon, so we'll we'll In a see. A couple weeks. <laughs> you getting one? Uh, no. <laughs> if I spend that kind of money, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Xbox One S because I need a 4K movie player, and I don't have an Xbox One yet. Yeah, yeah. So um, I have actually been thinking whether or not I should get the PS4 Pro. But the thing is, is between the Xbox One S 
and possibly getting that by Christmas. And then the um, Switch, Nintendo Switch coming out in March. And then the Scorpio next year, it's like, well, i got to pick my battles, you know. I'm not made of money, so I'm definitely getting the Switch, and I'm getting a Xbox, whether it's the S or the Scorpio. Eh, we'll see. Yeah. Depends on how long um, I want to wait for my 4K movie fix. <laughs> yeah, see, the, the, I don't know. The S, is, I actually, I'm interested, but I don't have a 4K TV, so I don't really, I won't see a benefit. And I do. <laughs> so. Yes. I don't know. It's a, it's an interesting time we live in having upgraded consoles mid-cycle, so. Yeah, it is. But, yeah, so 8.4 teraflops uh, using a 16-bit technique. Who would have thought? That's right. 